Well, hello everybody. This is your instructor, Jeff Brignac, and I'm here to tell you about some things that I want to start doing differently about the test. Uh, I'll try not to complain too much, but it's going to be hard. I, I'll just have to say I am really frustrated with the way Proctorial works. Uh, some of you have used it without any problems, but for me, and for the students that it does cause problems for, it is very frustrating. Uh, but, you know, I, I want the test to be proctored. I feel better if they're proctored, but I, proctorio is just too difficult. It causes way too many problems. It causes so much extra stress for you and for me when it comes time to take the test. So I've, I've just gotten to the point where I don't want to do it anymore, okay? Now, um, that will mean that I'll have to trust that you're doing everything honestly, but I'm okay doing it that way because that's the situation I feel like I'm in, okay? Uh, you know, it's, if, if you don't value the class, but you signed up for it anyway, and you're not going to be honest about doing the work, then, you know, I, I kind of feel like that is your own situation to deal with, okay? If, you know, you do value the class for whatever reason that might be, um, and you try to get something out of it the best you can, and you ask me for help when you need it, and then I'm happy to be a part of your experience, to be honest with you. Okay, so here's how things will probably be different. Now, I haven't made the final decision on whether or not to use Proctorio on test three yet, but I'll be making it very soon. Truth is, I'd like a, a little bit of feedback from you to see what you think about it. Um, I hear from lots of you when you have problems, but for those of you that don't have any problems with it, I, I probably don't hear anything. So I'm, I'm kind of curious for those of you that don't have problems with it, what you think about it, um, or if you have had problems with it, but you just haven't told me, then let me know because I, I do want to collect that information, but I'd like to hear from you. I'm kind of, you know, we're all in this together and I'd like to hear what you think. You know, it's important to me, but let's say that we don't use Proctorio for the next test. Then, then here's how it will be. Okay. So, so let's say that, you know, you, you're on my math lab and it's time to take the test. You know, you, you go to assignments in order to do, to do that. And then you, you find the test and it will ask you for a password. Okay, so same situation as has been for the other test. You need a password. So where you'll get that is under the module for test three, just as you would expect based on the other tests, right? The test one link was on the test one module, test two link on the test two module, and now you'll find the test three link on the test three module. Okay. So let's say you click that and it says, this is where you'll find the password to the test. And I had already gone in there, but say you start that, then here are some things that I want you to know about before you commit to taking the test. All right, so you'll read all this. And because I want you to be prepared for what this is gonna say, I'm gonna go through it right now, okay? So just as has been the case for the other tests, I want you to send me some work for some of the questions. You don't have to send all your work in, but there will be some where I want to see it. Send it to the email, email that's given here. Now, because we're not using Proctorio anymore, or we probably won't, and if we don't, this is how it's going to be, I, I'm gonna insist that you send your work as a single PDF. Okay, so I'm telling you that now. Today is Thursday, April 7th. The test is not due until the 12th. If you don't know how to photograph your work and put it into one PDF, then st start trying to figure that out right now. Uh, the reason why I'm not gonna tell you how to do it is because everybody uses different technology and I think that would get complicated, all right? Uh, I can tell you how I would do it. I would just take a picture of each page. I would put it in a Microsoft Word document, and then I would save that as a PDF. That's what I would do, okay? There's stuff you can get from your phone and so on, but it will depend on what you have. 
So I can't give you instructions for how to do that besides what I just told you, which is photographing everything, putting it in a Word document, saving the document as a PDF. All right. So, and I'm asking you to do that just because I want to look at your work and it makes it easier for me if you do it that way. All right. So that's a, a tiny little favor that I'm asking you for. Uh, but I'm going to be more strict about this because, you know, it would be under the scenario of not using Proctorio and that would make taking the test a lot easier for you, I would think. So I, you'll lose 10 points if you don't do it that way. Okay. So I am going to be strict about that. All right. Of course, if you don't send me the work for those questions, then, you know, no matter what, how you answered them, I'm just going to take it that, uh, you know, you got lucky guesses or something like that. I want to see the work. I'm, I'm going to insist on that, especially if the test is not proctored. Another thing that I will be more strict about if the test is not proctored is I want you to send me your work in right after you finish the test. Uh, by right after you finish the test, I mean within 30 minutes, okay? Make sure that it gets sent to me. Uh, check your sent items folder. Make sure that it was sent. Uh, some of you send me nice messages along with your work, and I always reply back to those and say, thanks, uh, I got it, I appreciate it, I'll be great in the test, so on. Uh, some of you don't, and you don't have to send me a message, but uh, if you want a confirmation, then just say so in your email, okay? If, if your email's blank, I'll, I'll just take it that you don't need to hear from me, okay? All right, uh, also to get credit for your work, some people have, for the other test, sent me their work, but their work is just that they write down the question and then they write down the answer. Uh, now, that's not just me, is it? Is that showing your work? All right, you might not like showing your work. You might not like that I want to see it, but that's the way that it is, all right? So make sure your work is neat and complete. If you skip lots of steps, if you only write down the question and the answer, then that doesn't really count for showing your work. So is there a guideline? How much work do you show? Some people skip some steps and that's okay. So my guideline is you should aim to show about the same amount of work that I show in the videos. That's what I'm gonna be looking for because the videos that I make are your guide for what we are learning, okay? All right, uh, now here again, if the test is not be, gonna be proctored, then I just want you to affirm this statement. I'm trusting that you'll not cheat on this test. That means you'll take the test by yourself without any help from any other person. You'll not use websites or online calculators that simply do all the work for you and give you the answer, okay? Because, well, what would be wrong with that? Well, then I feel like I should give the website the grade and not you, you know, I. You know, this is math class. You're supposed to be learning math. I want to make sure that you understand the procedures, the steps, and all of that, okay? All right, so don't use websites, online calculators. It's fine to use a calculator for calculations, etc., but not one that just does everything for you. And you know what I mean by that. Um, and when you send your work to me, if it appears that it's not yours okay and sometimes i you know i'm familiar with the online calculators and so on that generate steps for you uh, and sometimes they look like things a, a human wouldn't do uh, then i will get suspicious okay so just don't even go there make sure the work's yours uh you know and i think it, as long as you do that i've i've looked at so many students work over the years. I've been doing this for 20 years. I can't tell you how many papers I've graded and I know what it looks like when people do math, all right? Uh, so I think if, if you do your own work, you don't have anything to worry about, all right? Now at that point, you'll get the password for the test. And when you answer true to this question, it's just your affirmation that you understand everything that's given above. And once you answer true to this question, just, you know, you write that password down, go go enter it in over here. Where was it? Yeah, go enter that in, you know how it works. And then you could just 
answer true and close this. You, you don't have to leave this open. Uh, if we do it this way, the test is not proctored, so it doesn't really matter if it's open. Uh, this is just here to get, it's like, you know, making sure you read the terms and conditions, but much shorter. I just want you to read these seven or eight things and put true that you understand it. All right, and then that's it. Then you go take the test. The time limit on the test is the same and otherwise everything else is the same. Okay, so that's how uh, we will probably do things. I'm not gonna commit to it 100% yet. I do plan on taking or making the test available um, on Saturday, so you can take it from there. And I, I guess before I do that, before I decide one way or another whether we're gonna keep using Proctorio, which we probably won't, or do it this way, uh, I kinda like to hear your thoughts on that. Just because, as I said, I'm the instructor, you're the student, we're all in this together. And I just like to know, I'm, I'm curious, okay? So, uh, how about this? Uh, I'm going to post this video now. It's today's uh, Thursday the 7th. It's about 3.30. And by Saturday morning, you will get some statement from me about whether we'll use Proctorio for the next two tests or not. Uh, and then either way, you'll know how to proceed. Uh, anyway, well, good luck on the test. Uh, looks like people have started taking the quiz and they're doing okay and I'm happy about that and always if you need help I want you to ask me